Thank you for joining us for a session of third degree. A session of third degree? That sounds like a new kind of therapy. Sounds like you need a new kind of therapy. We can show you how to play if you'd like. Move the controller to highlight the option of your choice. Then press button 1. And any time you're confused about how to select something, just press button 2 and we'll tell you what to do. The object of third degree is to predict what your friends will do in various social situations typical in our modern lives. Points are awarded based on accuracy and the ability to convince others that you have the most reasonable answer. First, a player is chosen randomly to sit in the hot seat. This person will be shown a dilemma from one of five different categories and asked how they would react if they were in a similar situation. The hot seat player will enter their response in secret by moving the pointing device on the controller in one of four directions. A second player, also randomly selected, is called the challenger. This person guesses how they think the player in the hot seat would react to the same problem. Remember, the challenger predicts the hot seat player's true response, not how they themselves would handle the dilemma. The challenger also secretly enters a choice with the controller. If the challenger has correctly guessed what the hot seat player would do, the same number of points will be awarded to each player. If the answers don't match, a judge is randomly selected from the rest of the players. The hot seat player and the challenger will then have an opportunity to explain their answers, and the judge will award points to the player whose answer is the most convincing. Remember, the judge can decide that the challenger knows you better than you know yourself, except in my case. There will be three rounds, and during each round, every player will get a chance to sit in the hot seat, and also to be the challenger. Each round is worth more points than the one before. At the end of round three, the player with the highest score will win the game, along with our undying love. There are slight variations to each round, which we will explain as we go along. In just a moment, each player will sign in, selecting a name, gender, and playing piece. If you make a mistake during this process, you should select the Go Back option to undo your choice. If you get confused while trying to make a selection during the game, press button 2 on your controller, and we'll explain what to do next. And by the way, here's a secret trick if you want to skip some of the long parts at the beginning or whenever we're reading the rules at the start of a round. Just press button 1 on your controller and you will jump ahead to the next section. Simple, isn't it? If it was any simpler, it might not be any fun to play. Everyone needs to sign in now. This will let us talk to you on a first name basis. Please enter the number of people that will be playing. Whoever happens to have the controller, begin signing in by choosing the first letter of your name. Slide the letters left and right until your letter is highlighted, then press button 1. But remember to select Go Back instead if you want to re-enter the number of players. We had a crack team of scientists working for months to gather a list of names that would most likely be yours. If your name doesn't appear, well then you can choose another name. Or switch to the nickname board. Enter if you are male or female. Or you can select Surprise Me and we'll pick a gender for you. Don't let my parents know they can do that. Please enter now. Now choose a playing piece to represent you during the game. We wanted to have a likeness of everyone in the known world, but that would have been impossible. Use the controller to highlight one that appeals to you. And press button 1 to make your selection known. Alfred, you are the hippie. Now pass the controller to the next player so that they can sign in. It doesn't matter who gets it next. Next player. It's your turn to enter the first letter of your name. Next player. Once you have the controller, select your name from the list. Now, tell us if you are male or female. Are all the questions this easy? Please make your selection. Select a playing piece for the game. Xerxes, I see you've selected the dragon. 
Give the controller to the last player. Now it's the last player's turn to sign in. You know the drill. Now for your name. Please enter now. Now pick a nickname from our list. Now enter if you are a man or a woman. You want us to select your sex? Shouldn't you have thought of that years ago? Catfish, this is your surprise gender. Enjoy. You get the final choice of playing pieces. Catfish, I see you've selected the gorilla. You don't have to hand the controls to anybody. The women outnumber the men, I see. Sounds like my idea of a good party already. Now that everyone is signed in, let's explain the rules for the first round. Each player will be the hot seat player and the challenger once per round. We'll spin the film strip to see who those players are. And in this first round, we will also spin to select which category the dilemma will come from. Each question will be worth 10 points. If the players agree, they will each get 10 points. If they disagree, a judge will be randomly selected. The judge will then listen to both players' opinions of how the hot seat player would handle the dilemma and give 10 points to only one of the two players. Then we'll return to the game board to select the next hot seat player and challenger in round one. You and your friends have met the minimum requirement for play. Congratulations and let's begin. Let's see who'll be up first in the hot seat. Alfred, you've been selected to sit in the hot seat. Let's see who's up as the challenger. Catfish, you're up as the challenger. Now we'll select a category. The possibilities are love, family, careers, money, or potpourri. Interesting category. Alfred, a close relative of yours, is looking for a job, and on his job search discovers that your company has a position open. Knowing that you're respected in your company, he asks you for a recommendation. Now, normally, you wouldn't mind doing a favor for someone in the family. But this relation has absolutely nothing about him to recommend. Nothing. He is so completely unfit to hold a job in your company, you wondered at first if he was joking when he made his request. Horror at the realization he was serious soon took over. Alfred, what would you do? Would you put family before all and recommend him to your boss? Or would you tell this relative that you can't recommend him for a job for which you don't think he is qualified? Or would you tell your relative you'll sing his praises and later tell your boss the truth behind closed doors? Answer now. Catfish, now that you've seen the dilemma, what do you think would happen in this situation of relative value? Press in your answer now. Alfred, you say you would deny his request. Catfish, you say he'd deny his request. Alfred, it's good to be known as someone who sticks to your guns. Of course, if the whole country thought like you, virtually no one would have a job. Both of you agreed on how to deal with family matters. So you each receive 10 points and a degree in family counseling. If this were a television game show, there would be a commercial break so you could go get something to eat. Or whatever. 
Since it's interactive, you get to control the brakes instead of the network. And we don't try to sell you anything. When you decide to continue to play, just touch button 1 on your controller. That got things off to a rousing start. Now, let's spin for a new hot seat. Xerxes, it's your turn as the hot seat player. Let's see who will be your challenger. Alfred, you've been selected as the challenger. We'll now spin for your category. This should be provocative. Xerxes, it's Sunday morning. That magical day you've been looking forward to all week. You've caught up on your work, and all the chores you hate doing were completed yesterday. So you could have this day completely free. Now you have just settled back with the Sunday paper and a cup of hot coffee when the doorbell rings. Before realizing the consequences of your action, you answer the door. And standing there are some of your ah. so-called friends. Who have decided to drop by since they were in the neighborhood. Drop by is putting it mildly, since they intend to make you the host of their Sunday's entertainment. All week long, people have been asking for your time, and now it looks like your Sunday is spoken for too. Xerxes, what would you do? Would you give up your day of solitude, invite them in and put on more coffee? Would you pull out your I want to be alone routine and send them packing? Or would you suddenly feel the symptoms of fake-itis coming on? And while you'd love to visit with them, you are too concerned about their health to even breathe on them. Enter your response now. Alfred, you're up. Unexpected guests are on the doorstep. How do you think our friend will handle this unwelcome intrusion? Answer now. Xerxes, you say you would ask them to leave. Alfred, you say she would invite them in. Xerxes, there's an easy way to find out what would really happen, so get ready for a knock next Sunday. No matches here for that random dilemma. Everyone should now bow their head in a moment of silence. Catfish, you're the judge. You get to listen to the players tell why they answered the way they did. Then, you decide who should get all ten points. Highlight the player you feel gave the best answer and touch button one to make your ruling. Remember, your verdict is based on which is the most likely way for the hot seat player to handle this dilemma. Xerxes, the judge has declared you winner, so you receive ten points. Alfred, you lose. Next time, throw yourself on the mercy of the court, or just throw yourself on the judge. Here we are at the last dilemma of this round. Let's spin for the hot seat player. Catfish, you're in the hot seat. Now we'll spin for a challenger. Xerxes, you're all set up as the challenger. Now we'll select a category. It's fitting that this should be the last category of round one.
catfish. You are at a small party. With your boyfriend. Steady. Husband. Whatever seems appropriate to you. His title doesn't matter. What does matter is that he tells a story to the group that is very personal. It's about the two of you. Mostly you. Mm. And while no one else seems to mind, you're a little taken aback. It's not the sort of story that could be said to be definitely inappropriate. But still, you feel uncomfortable. Catfish. What would you do? Would you try to get the conversation moved on to another subject? Would you one-up him and tell a personal story in which he's the star? Or would you request that he stop the embarrassing chatter then and there? Answer now. Xerxes, now that you have also seen the dilemma, how do you think this public invasion of privacy would be handled? Answer here. Catfish, you say you would tell one about him. Xerxes, you say she would change the subject. Catfish, given this level of disagreement, how about we test this by having someone tell an embarrassing story about you? Everyone in favor, say yes. Oh, you've disagreed on this matter of the heart. Now turn and hurl insults at 20 paces. Alfred, you've got on the judge's robe. It's up to you. Listen to both sides and then award the points. Catfish, congratulations! The verdict is in your favor, so you receive 10 points. Xerxes, you weren't as convincing. Use more adjectives next time. Here's how the scores stack up after round one. It seems like our players like to disagree. I wonder if they're really friends. Catfish, at the end of the first round, you're in the lead. But there seems to be a tie for second place. But this is only the end of round one. There are two more rounds to go. Let's begin round two. Round two is similar to round one. Except the dilemmas are worth a varying number of points, from 10 to 30. And instead of us selecting a category at random, the player in the hot seat gets to choose a category and spin for the point value of the dilemma. So let's summarize. As before, each player gets one turn in the hot seat and one turn as the challenger. The hot seat player can spin the film strip to select the number of points, or be safe and play for 20 points. If the players agree, they will each get that number of points. Also, in this second round, the hot seat player will select which category the dilemma will come from. If there is disagreement, a judge will be chosen at random and will listen to both players' opinions, giving the number of points selected to only one of the two players. Then we'll return to the game board and choose the next hot seat player and challenger. So let's get on with round two. Let's see who's going to start round two in the hot seat. Catfish, you start this round out in the hot seat, and this is who your challenger will be. Alfred, you're the first challenger in round two. Good luck to all of you. Catfish, now you're faced with a tough decision. Tough being a relative term in this game, of course. Do you simply play this dilemma for 20 points or spin the film and take your chances on a higher possible score? Decide now. There is a possible 20 points for this next dilemma. Catfish, now it's time to select a category. Your choices for categories include love, family, careers, money, or potpourri. You pick the category and then we randomly select a dilemma in that category for you. Just use your controller to highlight one of the category pictures in the film strip and then press button 1. Catfish, you've chosen a brand new category.
catfish. Your house needs some major repairs. You ask a friend if he can recommend a reliable contractor. And he proudly announces that he can do the job himself. And save you money. The twin benefits of saving some cash and helping out a friend sounds like a good deal. So you let him tackle the house. And after he's done, that's exactly what it looks like he did. The work was so lousy, you wonder if it was deliberate. As you're scanning the disaster, your pal, the repairman, walks in, puffs out his chest and proudly asks how you like the improvements. Before you can answer, he hands you a bill. Catfish, what are you going to do? Would you chalk it up to experience and pay him? Would you point out to him what's wrong and ask him to do it over? Or would you not only refuse to pay, but find someone else to do it right? Answer now. Alfred, you've seen the problem. How do you think our friend would respond to this shoddy situation? Plug in your answer now. Catfish, you say you would make him do it over. Alfred, you say she would refuse to pay and find someone else. Catfish, isn't it good to know that you're not thought of as the kind of person who would simply pay and grumble about it? In fact, would you ever pay at all? The players didn't agree on how to handle money matters. I found that saying, gee, I forgot my wallet works in just about every situation. Xerxes, you're the judge. Listen to the players tell you why they answered the way they did, and then decide on who should get all the points. Alfred, the judge has declared you the winner. Catfish, you lose. Next time, come prepared with compromising photos of the judge. Alfred, you get 20 points. Catfish, you receive nothing. Tough luck. Now we'll see who's up next in the hot seat. Alfred, you're sitting in the hot seat this time. In a second, we'll see who your challenger is. Xerxes, you're up as the challenger. Alfred, you... Choose wisely. You're playing for 25 points. Alfred, select a category for our next dilemma. Enter now. Alfred, obviously you like this category. You matched in it during round one. Alfred, some long-lost relatives decided to drop by for an unexpected visit during their vacation travels. They said they were going to stay a couple of days. But that was a week ago. They still show no signs of wanting to pack up and move on. Mm -hmm. They have overstayed their welcome. And are completely clueless they've done so. Just when you think they are searching for their luggage. It turns out they are looking for the remote control and the TV guide. Alfred, what would, would you, you do? do? Would you ask them politely to get out before you go nuts? Would you grit your teeth and hope they'll just leave on their own? Or would you tell them you have more guests on the way and regrettably there simply won't be enough room for everyone? Give us your answer now. Xerxes, you've seen this dilemma. How do you think our friend would handle these lingering lodges? Indicate your answer now. Alfred, you say you do something else entirely. Xerxes, you say he would do something else entirely. The two of you didn't match answers with this family problem. Then is this the end of Western civilization as we know it? Catfish, you're the judge. Bask in the supreme power while you can. Catfish? Both players chose do something else. They might have had the same idea in mind. After listening to their arguments, you can decide if the players did agree after all, and award points to both of them.
You match dancers. Excuse my tears, it's just that witnessing such bonding is so rare in these callous days. You both get 25 points. And now, I'll select a hot seat player for the final dilemma of round two. Xerxes, you're playing the part of the hot seat. And now, we'll see who will be challenging you. Catfish, you're the last challenger this round. Xerxes, now you have to decide to play this round for 20 points or spin the film for the chance to play for higher stakes. You're playing for 15 points. Xerxes, choose a category you'd like to suffer through. Please select now. Xerxes, I thought you might choose this category. You scored points in it during the first round. Xerxes, you've invited an old friend over for dinner. You've gone all out for this one. Looking up new recipes. Going all over town for just the right ingredients. Making sure everything is cooked perfectly. And going to be beautiful when served. The doorbell rings. Right on time. And standing there is your friend. And one of his relatives. Who just happened to be in town, he, he explains. explains. You have barely recovered from the shock of having one more mouth to feed. When this guest starts to make rude remarks about your house. And the funny smells coming from your kitchen. Xerxes. How would you deal with this sudden change in plans? Would you announce that you have your own change in plans and cancel dinner? Would you put hot sauce in the rude creature's dinner? Or would you simply grit your teeth and hope you can control your temper until she leaves? Answer now. Catfish, you've seen the dilemma. What would the reaction be to this unexpected situation? Enter now. Xerxes, you say you would spice things up. Catfish, you say she would cancel the dinner. Xerxes, I guess you see yourself as someone who meets a surprise with a bigger surprise rather than fold under pressure. There was no match that time. Someone obviously isn't listening to their inner feelings. So we'll listen to a judge instead. Alfred, you've been named judge. As long as you're in power, I suggest soliciting all the bribes you can. Xerxes, congratulations! The verdict is in your favor. Catfish, you weren't as convincing. Wave your arms around more next time. Xerxes, you get 15 points. Catfish, you receive nothing. Now, let's look at the scoreboard at the end of round two. It seems like our players find disagreement agreeable. I wonder if they met before tonight. Alfred, at the end of the second round, you're in the lead. Xerxes, you're in second place. And this is the end of round two. There is only one round to go. Let's begin round three. Round three is similar to round two, except the dilemmas are worth an even greater number of points, varying from 40 to 100. And this time, the challenger gets to choose the category and spin for the point value of the dilemma. So let's summarize. As before, each player gets one turn in the hot seat and one turn as the challenger. The challenger can spin the film strip to select the number of points or be safe and play for 60 points. If the players both agree, they will each get that number of points. Also, in this final round, the challenger will select which category the dilemma will come from. If there is disagreement, tough luck for both players. There is no judge in the final round, so if the players don't agree, neither one will receive any points. But to make it a little easier to agree in the final round, there are only three choices possible for each dilemma, so you can't choose do something else. 
So let's get on with the final round. Let's spin for the first hot seat player of this round. Catfish, you're in the hot seat first. Now we'll see who you'll be playing against. Xerxes, you're up first as a challenger. Xerxes, now you have the chance to rack up some serious points. Do you play this dilemma for 60 points, or spin the film and take your chances on a higher possible score? Decide now. There are 60 points at stake for this next dilemma. Xerxes, since the challenger chooses the category in the final round, which one would you like? Xerxes, do you realize that no one has agreed in this category for the whole game? Just a reminder, players, you are only awarded points in round three if you both agree. Since there is no judge in this round, a disagreement is worth zero points. Catfish, you have been involved with a terrific man in what is more than a casual relationship. You enjoy each other's company and like spending time together. Lately, however, he has been asking to spend more time with you than you want to spend with him. You're not feeling smothered yet, but these requests are becoming more frequent. And soon both of you are going to have to come to a decision about this matter. Catfish, next time he requests more of your time, what are you going to do? Would you agree to spend more time together rather than risk a confrontation? Would you tell him you are giving him as much time as your schedule will allow? Or would you try to discuss the situation and reach a compromise? I mean, you both get something. Answer now. Xerxes, now that you've seen the dilemma, what do you think our friend's reaction would be to this timely problem? Answer here. Catfish, you say you would try to reach a compromise. Xerxes? You say she would try to reach a compromise. These two agreed on the love dilemma. Is it possible that one of them isn't telling the truth? You both receive 60 points. And now we'll spin for the next player to sit in the hot seat. Alfred, you have the honor of being in the hot seat. And in the challenger's chair will be... Catfish, congratulations, you're the challenger. Catfish, now you have to decide. Do you play for 60 points, or do you spin the film? Choose carefully. You're playing for 70 points. Catfish, choose your category. I was hoping someone would finally select this category. It happens to be my personal favorite. Alfred, you have a job that pays you well and you enjoy it. Well, not really enjoy. It's more like... like. Okay, not even like. You tolerate it. It's on the dull side. But it pays you enough so that sometimes you forget how boring it is. Then one day you are offered the job of your dreams. It's exciting. Challenging. And sparks your interest from the moment it is presented to you. Unfortunately, it doesn't pay nearly as well as your current job. It won't leave you destitute. But it will cut into the lifestyle you've grown accustomed to. Alfred, what would you do? Would you take the job because money isn't everything? Would you turn it down, knowing that job fulfillment doesn't pay the bills? Or would you stay on the lookout for another job that has more of both? Enter your answer now. Catfish, what would your friend do in this 
tempting situation. Hmm? Alfred, you say you would take the job. Alfred, I wish I had your outlook. I'll get myself out of this job in a second. Perhaps you'd like to take a shot at being an interactive game show host. Congratulations! You agreed on the career problem. I suppose that means someone is up for a promotion. You both receive 70 points. And now here it is, the final dilemma. And we know who will be sitting in the hot seat. Xerxes, glad to have you up as our final hot seat player. And the last challenger will be... Alfred, you're challenging last in the final round. Alfred? This problem will be worth 50 points. Alfred, what are you going to choose as the final category? Good choice! Xerxes, you decide to be adventurous and rent an adult video. If you never have, at least try to imagine yourself doing so. You know, they say there are two kinds of people. Those who say they have rented an adult movie and liars. However, I'm assuming you're honest, but I digress. You have finally worked up the nerve to rent some adult entertainment, only for curiosity's sake, of course. And just as it is put into your hands, you run into an old school teacher. As much as you try to casually hide the tape, they notice and ask what you're renting. Xerxes, what would you do? Would you admit that you are curious? Would you put on the outraged act and say they must have given you the wrong tape? Or would you shift the blame and say you were picking it up for a pal? Enter your selection now. Alfred, you know the situation. Having been spotted by a friend holding on to the hot pick of the week, are they going to explain or blame? Enter your guess. Answer now. Xerxes, you say you would fess up. Alfred, you say she would claim to pick it up for a friend. Xerxes, does the challenger think this because of personal experience? Too bad. There was a disagreement on that dilemma. Why is it too bad? I always enjoy listening to a heated discussion. Xerxes, you get zero points. Alfred, you also get nothing. Too bad. Good play, everybody. Let's look at the final standings. Catfish, it's the end of the game and you're the winner. Serious kudos to you. Alfred, you came in second place. That brings an end to this session of Third Degree. Thank you for playing. I hope everyone keeps in touch. To play another session of Third Degree with the names and playing pieces you are using now, just highlight Play Again and press button 1. Goodbye. If you really had a good time, the following is a list of everyone you should send thank you cards to.
Once again, it's time for Third Degree, the interactive game show where everyone takes turns being in the hot seat. Does that have something to do with eating Mexican food? Oh. <coughs> oh, pardon me, there appears to be grime everywhere. Oh, I'll bet the disc is dirty. Would one of the players please take it out and clean it? Thank you oh so much. And then you'll have to start the game over. Sorry. Yuck! You've got one dirty disc and it won't play. Won't play, won't play right until it's cleaned off. Please remove your disc and clean it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I refuse to work under these conditions. Call my agent. Once you get this disc clean, you can start the game over. End of paid political announcement.